So I've got this question a couple of times now in the YouTube private messages and I think it was from a lot of the people that saw the opening my A-level results video and they sort of were doing their A-levels and trying to decide whether they should go to university or not and it's a real shame because I feel like a lot of people have that forced upon them and your school sort of recommends that you apply to UCAS or go through that process without necessarily giving you that choice and you know a lot of people feel like that's forced upon them I think in a lot of ways so I really want to talk about why I chose not to go to university and because I took a less conventional route and that's really something that I'm really happy that I was able to do and it's really something that is really available to you and I feel like a lot of people don't get that because they feel like university is so forced upon them or you know even if it's something they don't want to do necessarily and don't get me wrong university is right for a lot of people but for me it's not and I think for other people it might not be as well and especially for people looking for a job in the tech industry so I'm, I'm really specifically talking to those people although it might apply to other careers as well but if you want a career in the web development industry or the programming industry in general really I don't think a degree is going to benefit you at all unless you're just going for the social aspects and going out drinking every night in which case I mean why are you going to university you could do that anyway um, but that's, that's the only thing you're going to get out of it really because if you think about it a degree what do you get you know from an employer's perspective so you just get a piece of paper saying that you've had a formal education so what what's that going to say? Well, it, it allows the employer to gauge, okay, well, he knows his theory, but he doesn't even necessarily know any practical aspects of programming in the real world, because what you'll have learned in university is often going to be outdated technologies, and even if you do learn the fundamentals of programming, which you can learn in really any language, and then, you know, the skills will be widely transferable in a lot of cases, even whilst you're programming in university, it's still not going to be that real world situation. And there's going to be a lot, I would say at least the majority of the skills that you're going to need, you're going to learn on the job whether you do a degree or not. So if you do a degree, you're not only, I don't think you're going to be learning, you know, 50% of the skills that you need to be able to do the job in the real world. And once I sort of figured that out, I feel like, I, I, it, I just can justify going to university because I mean I didn't see the point and for me it wouldn't benefit my career because I could just get the same job now as long as I could prove how to pro that I knew how to program and that's really the key in my opinion is if you do have the skills if you're self-motivated and you are willing to put in the effort to learn the programming language that you you are passionate about then it's really going to be easy for you to get a job now it might not sound like that if you can't get a job at the moment, but really it it but really it just is because if you have that skill set and those skill sets are going to be in demand from the employer's perspective, so they're going to be trying to find the best people that they can, and I think one of the keys to being able to find that you know best skill set that you possibly can is not just learning how to program, learning how to you know build a website or build a fun application that's very useful like a mobile application that has lots of downloads on the App Store for example because really anyone can build a, an iOS or Android application it's not too difficult if you really set your mind to it and you're willing to put in the effort then you really can do that but it's not just about that in my opinion if you really want to get that good job as a software developer you should learn not only all that stuff but really how to learn and in fact when you learn a programming language then you'll learn how to learn now I think that's a really really fundamental concept to being employable in the industry because if you can learn not just the skill set but also almost how you learn the skill set those skills are going to be widely applicable to learning more about that skill set in the future you know as in when you're on the job so w when you've got that job the employer is going to have confidence in the fact that you're going to keep learning and keep evolving your knowledge because they can see that you are, have sort of learned how to 
learn and advance your knowledge and you know especially if you're passionate for it because that shows that you're also going to keep learning and that's really really important in the industry especially this one because it's so fast paced and it's changing all the time so really I don't think you need a degree but you do need to be able to prove that you can program effectively because a lot of people can't a lot of people might try to get a job without necessarily knowing enough to be able to do that job effectively and that's not someone that you want to be okay so you want that skill set to be able to do that job and really if you study hard then you know for a few months or you know maybe even a year uh, but in a lot of cases it doesn't even take that long to be able to get that skill set if you're really putting in the effort now but if you can do that if you can put in that effort then it's really going to reward you because you're going to get a job that you're really really good at straight away because you already got the skill set I know from my personal experience that if you really just try to learn as many of the skills that you can you know with regards to programming and you know source control like with git for example and github if you know how to use github that's a really really useful tool I don't even know if they would teach you that in university I doubt it to be honest maybe they would in some cases but I know not all universities would teach something like that and it's really not difficult to learn I you know you just learn the command line and really that's a really really key tool uh, to be able to become a successful developer and at least in my opinion is if you know how to use the command line then you're going to be a much more successful developer but also just that general skill set if you can do that then employers are going to want to hire you irrespective of whether you have that degree or not and I think in a lot of cases now I don't even think that not having a degree necessarily worsens your CV at all uh, in the tech industry specifically I don't think it really matters because employers aren't looking for a degree employers are looking for people that can do the job that can write the code that can build really really solid good applications using good programming practices they're not looking for some you know computer programming wizard who knows all the theory and can do the binary addition and binary subtraction and floating point binary and you know hexadecimal and you know two's complement and whatever it happens to be that doesn't matter because it's not something that's applicable to the job and even though you might learn that stuff in university it's completely irrelevant if you want a job in the industry because you're not going to need to use that knowledge in the vast majority of cases now I'm sure there's that one job that requires a very specialist skill set and uh, you know maybe that's some knowledge that you can only obtain from a degree but in the vast majority of cases just google everything that you need to know because there's more than enough programming resources out there for you to be able to teach yourself and I, fi I think that it's much more effective if you can show an employer right I'm self motivated I can teach myself these skills look because I've never had a programming lesson in my life I've just learned these programming languages and I can do this job because I've built something that I can show you I own the source code to this website I've pub published it online and now I can show you that and really anyone can do that it's really just a matter of are you motivated enough to do that and if you are then really that's all an employer is going to need to see if they can see that you've written that source code for a relatively maybe complex application but it doesn't even have to be that complex it just has to show that you can write you know the entire application yourself it could be a mobile app like an iOS app or it could be you know a website so you can really showcase your skill set you know put that code on github so that they can see it more often than not if you get an interview they'll ask you to do a coding uh, coding interview or coding example so that they can see if you actually can code because they're going to give you a task to do and then uh, you just have to do that to the best of your ability and if you've got that skill set that's going to be easy for you if you haven't got that skill set it may not be because I know using myself as an example I had an offer from an iOS developer position and a full stack web developer position and I know for a fact that I'm not as good as iOS development as I am full stack web development so when I try to do the coding uh, coding interview for the iOS developer position I completely messed it up it took me 
you know, longer than the deadline that they gave me and I had to say, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't do it in time and all this stuff. But I did persevere with it and I did eventually make an app which was admittedly very simple. You can see it on my GitHub, it's on the link in the description below. But all it was was just a simple application that contacted an API and presented that data in the uh, table view, which is an iOS terminology. But really anyone can do that and and you know if you work with the skill set that you're more passionate about passionate about so for me that's full stack web development I was able to do that coding interview much more effectively than I was the iOS developer position because it was you know a lot more more suited to me so I really think that's the the other key takeaway is just work with what you're passionate about and specialize in the technology that you really enjoy the most because uh, there's no point in doing everything because if you can say you can program in you know 15 or 20 different languages employers might assume that you don't know any of them and that you're not an expert in any of them and really if you say you're only good at one programming language or two or three they're going to say okay well yeah you know just show me that you can do that and then they might actually believe you and you know you might be an expert in 20 languages but if you can market yourself you know as a specialist in you know a more specific area like python for example or you know just the django web framework for python or you know a javascript library that you're really really good at then they might just hire you based on that specialization now i'm not saying it's not good to be a well-rounded developer and know you know a lot of the skills needed to do the whole sort of application process from the building the application itself through to de deploying that application that's all important but i'm just saying that specializing can often make you uh, more presentable in an interview situation just because that employer is going to be able to sort of assume that you know you've got that more specialized knowledge and therefore you might be better in that skill set than when you say you're good at 20 languages because it's a bit too broad and they don't really know which one you're good at and which one you'd thrive at and therefore they probably wouldn't think you're a particularly good fit for any of those languages to be to be able to work in that situation. So they're my thoughts on not getting a degree for uh, this industry and I hope that answered a few of your questions because I did get a couple of questions on this. So uh, on this channel I normally do like lots of programming videos so if you're interested in actually learning how to program and building that skill set then you know click the subscribe button and you'll see more uh, especially Python related videos or you know maybe some other programming languages in the future but uh, especially the Python Basics series which I'm working on at the moment. So I'll see you in the next one.